Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining us as we look at the lives of women from God's word. Uh today I want to look at the life of someone who is not spoken too much about. Uh she's probably mentioned in one passage in God's word, but her life makes an impact. Uh and this is Anna. Uh let me read for us from Luke 2 and verse 37. It says and this woman was a widow of about 84 years who did not depart from the temple but served god with fastings and prayers night and day and she was one person in the temple who saw you know the uh, the child jesus and she was so um overjoyed by the fact that god had fulfilled his promise to his people god had fulfilled his promise to israel that he would be sending a messiah and the life of anna is such that we see a devotion um uh, we could say unlike you know uh, people around uh, at that time because um anna if you look, study a little bit about her background well, she became a widow at a young age and then you know she could have made a uh, different choices but you know as per god's call on her life uh, she was also a prophetess she made a decision now this decision like ruth you know it's a decision of faith she made a decision to serve god the rest of her life and as we just read she was 84 years old when she finally got to see the face of the messiah so you can imagine from the time she became a young widow till she was 84 years old now she was in the temple and what was she doing we learn that she was serving the lord through fastings and prayers night and day continually anna had devoted herself to praying she had continually de- devoted herself to fasting uh, and to just offer her worship to the lord in this manner so you now we see a uh, an unmistakable devotion from the life of anna we also see a consistency you know all these years she had been in the presence of god honoring god and not just that you know, she was one who was um uh, you know one who rejoiced in god's plans you know, just think about this the moment she sees jesus she's so happy because that is something that she along with all um the jews who had been waiting for all these many years and one could say that even because of her life of prayer she was so sensitive to the work of the holy spirit that no one needed to tell her that this was the messiah she immediately recognized you know that god's purpose was unfolding before her so you know anna is a picture of devotion of consistency and of sensitivity to the spirit of god and uh, i pray that all of us could could have this um, in in us so let's just pray together heavenly father thank you for the life of anna lord we pray that uh, lord you would give us uh, such a heart of de- devotion lord that is uh, committed to your presence that father we will rejoice in who you are and and the things that uh, lord you are doing father lord we just humble ourselves and commit ourselves to you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org